I will not die, but I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Hey, good morning. This is Mike from Louisiana. And Psalms 118 is a promise to us spoken by David. And in this video, I want to ask the question, what do I have to do to get healed by God? And so many people ask that. So many people are dealing with sickness. So many people are dealing with disease in their body, with ailments, with mental struggles, with all kinds of things that we have to uh, struggle with in our life and in this world. I mean, the question is, is God willing to heal me? Will God heal me? Can God heal me? The Bible says that nothing is impossible to him that believes. And so we know that God is a God of the impossible. And so we want to talk about that today. In Romans 10, 6 and 8, Paul says, the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. In that verse, he says, the word is close to you in your, in your mouth and then in your heart. So first we have to understand that Getting our healing is something that we have to learn to speak out first and then it becomes established in our hearts. Now you might say, well, well I'm going to walk around and I'm going to say, hey, I'm healed in Jesus name, but I'm still sick. So am I denying the fact that I'm like sick? Am I just ignoring the fact that I'm sick? Am I, am I kind of pretending that, hey, I'm not really sick. I'm just believing God's gonna heal me and I'm gonna call myself healed. No, that's not what we're saying. We're saying, yes, sickness is a reality. Sickness is something that we uh, do not deny that it exists. But what we are doing is we are choosing to focus on the fact that God's healing power is uh, it trumps that in our body. And so that's what we focus on. That's what we confess. So in 1 Peter 2.24, the Bible says that by his stripes, we were healed. So this is the crux of what I want to talk about today because the were means it is past tense. It means that it already happened. It means that it was something that took place 2,000 years ago. You and I were healed. Now this is what we have to get our, our brains wrapped around because most of us are trying to get healed, get something in the future that will help us now, that will, that will get us healed, but it's already been paid for. Let me ask you this, I have four kids and I tell my kids all the time that I wanna bless them. I wanna give them you know, things that I desire to give them. And my wife and I, we love to bless our kids. Now we never give our kids a gift and say, well, now you gotta pay for it. That is not how it works. And with God, the same thing happened. Your healing was already purchased 2,000 years ago on that cross when he died and gave his life. The stripes that are on his back paid for your healing. So you and I have to learn to accept this gift. Now, how many of you gave your life to Christ? How many of you, whenever you gave your life to Christ, it cost you something? It absolutely did not. All it cost you was exchanging your old life of sin and a wretched living, and you changed that and gave it to God. That's all it cost you is, hey, I'm gonna take your abundant life, your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness, I'm gonna exchange it for my guilt and for my shame. And so this is how God's this is how God's love transfers his healing to you. The same faith you had to get your salvation is the same faith you need to get your healing. You literally just have to say, God, I accept it. God, I receive it. God, I believe that it was already paid for and I'm just gonna receive it as a gift into my body. And as you begin to do this with your mouth, it will take place in your heart and the healing power of God will flow into your life. I've seen it so many times, I've experienced it in my life and God can do it because there is nothing impossible for our God. So I want you to understand that as a child of God, you have a right and you have uh, a claim on your healing. Now, if you're not a child of God, then I don't know, God can still heal you, but I'm telling you, I would, as quick as I can, I would try, I would become a Christian and become a child of God because that is the greatest place you want to be. That is the great place to be. That is a, a place of forgiveness, of grace, of love and mercy. 
I'm gonna tell you I've been safe since I was seven years old and I never regret a day of it. I love God and I love what he does for me. So this morning I wanna pray. If you are not a Christian and you have never given your heart to God, we can do that right now. And then I wanna pray for your healing. And all I want you to do this morning as we pray for your healing is just receive it. Just say, thank you, God. Begin to thank him for your healing. So let's pray this morning. Father, in Jesus' name, if this person watching this video this morning has never given their life to Christ, if they're living their own life, living in sin, living in shame, living in condemnation, living in, in, in anger and bitterness, and just whatever they're going through right now, Father, there is a better way, a better way that you have purchased for them. So Father, right now in Jesus' name, Lord, we uh, just say this with me. Say, I accept you, God. I accept your sacrifice on the cross, Jesus. I believe that you are God. I believe that you came to save me. And I confess that you are Lord. Become Lord of my life. Forgive me of my sins. Take my shame. Take my guilt. Take all the bad things. I give them to you. And I, in turn, receive your forgiveness, your grace, your love. I thank you in Jesus' name. That's it. That's all you had to do. If you prayed that prayer with me and you believed it in your heart, then you are saved and you are going to heaven and you are a child of God. Now let's pray for that pain in your body. Let's pray for that sickness that you're going through. Let's pray for whatever is ailing you right now. I believe in Jesus' name that your healing will take place by faith in Jesus' name. So. Wherever you're sick in your body, just take your hand and begin to place it on your, on your body, wherever you are. So Father, in Jesus' name, I praise you and I thank you that your blood paid the price for my healing. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to say 10,000 prayers. I don't have to walk up a mountain or, or sacrifice anything, Lord. God, I just thank you that your blood, your sacrifice, already paid for my healing in Jesus' name. So Lord, as your saints lay their hands on their body, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we just thank you that your healing power is flowing into their body right now, Lord. The gift of healing, Lord, is being activated on their behalf. And from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet, Lord, they are receiving that miracle healing right now in Jesus' name. We believe it. We call it done. We thank you for your blood, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray and we say amen. If you prayed that prayer and you had a, uh, you felt something in your body, I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know about it. Uh, please share this video with anyone that you know needs healing in their body, is going through something in their body. Uh, God is... Um, I believe God is going to use these videos to help people get healed, to help people get saved, just to spread the word that God loves you. God doesn't hate you. God's not angry at you. God wants the best for you. Hey, this is Mike from Louisiana, and I just wanted to share this video with you. I make a video. I try to make a video every morning and uh, talk about what God is doing right now and a word for you. So that way you can move forward in life and become happy and healthy and live a life of peace in God. Now, I want to say that I'm making a few videos here and I'll be releasing them pretty soon uh, with my friend, Pastor Andrew Kennedy from South Africa. This guy is amazing. He has been to the US like 65 times preaching the word of God. He has a church in South Africa, but he has some amazing stories about the healings and miracles of God. And I'm, I got a chance to interview him and I'm gonna be putting those out here pretty soon. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.